As a business owner, you really need to pay more attention to your mindset because that can make or break your business. Even if you have the absolute best idea in the world, all the knowledge about running a business, flawless strategies and tactics, if your mindset is keeping you from making the right decisions, taking on challenges and doing things that would help your business or making you like resistant to changes, it can end all of your business dreams before they even begin. The wrong mindset can absolutely be your downfall. So this is something that you have to constantly work on and pay very, very close attention to. Hey, this is Laura Agachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and we're a company that specializes in helping small businesses and solopreneurs in the coaching and consulting space establish a strong business foundation so that they can eventually scale and grow their empire. We come out with a lot of content on our YouTube channel about digital marketing, business operations, scaling, and so much more. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification button so that you're always updated on new videos. Also, hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any questions about this video or any of our other videos. All right, back to mindset. So what do you think sets apart a successful entrepreneur and a failed entrepreneur? You know, just think about two different people with the exact same qualification, knowledge, education, and resources. One runs a successful business that continuously scales and the other closes up shop after a year. Guess what? It's mindset. Your mindset can affect the way you make decisions, approach new ideas or challenges, and just your general attitude towards business and really life. And these are the things that decide whether you fail or succeed in business. If you have a business mindset that is keeping you from growing, you have to start working on it right now. Here are just a couple of examples. One, success is going to take you away from the people and things that you love and enjoy. A lot of people start their business because they want to do the daily grind and have more time for themselves or their family and friends. And that's perfectly fine right? But a lot of people also believe that if your business grows bigger, it also means that it's going to take up more of your time and freedom. So they consciously or subconsciously turn away any ideas or opportunities that would help them grow their business. It can get to a point where you make decisions to keep your business small because you're afraid of how it will affect your freedom. And I'm going to be honest with you, there are going to be times, especially if you're taking on new challenges or pursuing new opportunities, that that would take up a lot of your time and, and maybe you'll have to spend a couple of days not having family dinners. But with the right planning and strategy, that will settle and eventually you'll get back to how it was or maybe even free up more of your time. When you scale, you're not just scaling the amount of customers you're taking on, you're also scaling your operations so there's a balance. So the next time there's an opportunity for growth, don't think about how many hours it's going to take out of your day, think about how you can build a stronger business to meet the demand. Two, money doesn't grow on trees. And to be fair, it, it doesn't. You know, we've heard this a lot and mostly from our parents and it's not all bad. They're just trying to teach us the value of money and how we have to be wiser with how we spend it. And maybe, you know, don't spend your entire year savings on a trendy sneaker <laughs> or some bags. <laughs> but then we grow up and this whole mindset affects our attitude towards money because we believe it's hard to come by that we focus too much on the money we'll lose rather than what it will bring in or we invest too little on a new opportunity or idea that in the end doesn't really make any difference so try to go back to previous decisions you've made on how has your mindset on money been affected Three, thinking you have to have the perfect situation in order to succeed. Guess what? Life's not perfect. Running a business isn't perfect. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to have failures during different points of your career. That is the truth and you have to accept that. If you keep thinking that in order to succeed, you need to make the right decisions all the time, two things can happen. You either become paralyzed and stuck because you refuse to make any move or you don't learn to face the challenges and, and problem solve. And just give up at the slightest hint of trouble. And these two things can end a business like at a full stop. So thanks for watching today's video on mindsets. And if there's any other topics you want us to tackle in the next video, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.